I'm Tammy Sheffield, and we're here at Kite Surfing TV and Breaking Glass Pictures launch party at AFM. And I've got Mr. Bobby Bluehouse with me. Bobby, now you're one of the sponsors here tonight. Tell me about Ozone. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, the uh, sport of kite surfing is relatively new, and um, Ozone is one of the premier kites. Um, there's quite a few manufacturers, but Ozone, I think, is one of the best ones. Would you say the Ferrari of kites? Yeah, definitely the Ferrari. It's, <laughs> it's a high-end kite. It's, it's a high performance, 60 edge of the wind window. There's a kite right over there. It's called the Edge, for instance, and uh, just seeks out the edge and gives you a lot of grunt power and, and a lot of pull, and then you got deep power when you're on the waves, and, and you can just ride, ride effortlessly for hours and uh, make all the surfers jealous. <laughs> So how did you get into kite surfing? Um, one day in uh, Hawaii, in Mokalea, my wife saw a bunch of what she thought were birds in the air, all these colorful kites, and she says, but across from the polo fields, and she said, gosh, you, here's a sport you just have to get into. And, wow. so, and so when she saw that, um, so, so I, she drove all the way across the island and, and said, Bobby, I gotta show you this. And so we drove back over there and immediately I had And the, you were hooked ever since? Uh, it's been addicting and it's, it's, it's worse than any drug. It's terrible. Oh, it's, really? It's so fun. So do most surfers transition into kiting? Would you say that? I t I'd say a lot of surfers that want to catch waves definitely oh. transfer. If they, if they want to sit there and, and have a social life and just sit on the board and not do anything, right, right, right. that's the perfect Waiting thing. for the next wave, Waiting for that kite perfect, boarding, perfect wave, you're but, just going the whole time. But kiteboarding's ki kind of, it's not quite as social during the sport, but then okay. afterwards it's a lot of camaraderie. Now I heard that they're saying that kiteboarding is now the new golf that big deals are being happening during kiteboarding expeditions. Would you say that? I would say that people do like to get in, go to resorts and go to different areas and, and exotic places around the world yeah. and, and have fun. And, and it, let's see, what's more fun, hitting a little tiny ball around a, a oh. field or, or, <laughs> or, or being, in your, in, being in your swimsuit and, and uh, enjoying the turquoise water? And, and oh, I know. I'm not a golfer. I'm not a golfer, so you don't have to talk me into that one. Nothing against golf, though. I'm sure that <laughs> golf's a great sport, and so is surfing. But but yeah. kite surfing, I, for me, it's where it's the at. ultimate adrenaline rush. It is, it is very much that way. So, what would be your advice to a person who just wants to get involved with kite surfing for the very first time? I would say the very first thing you'd want to do is go to somewhere. Go like, buy an ozone kite. No, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't. I don't think you necessarily buy a Ferrari. Okay. Um, to, to start with, I, I would say the very first thing is, is, is talk to some kite surfers that you respect and love okay. and, 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 it's, it's, and uh, maybe take a lesson or two, an introductory lesson. Um, mm -hmm. There's uh, several good schools in the Belmont Shore. Um, so you don't need to travel like all around the world no. to start with kite surfing? No. So, for instance, SoCal Kite Surfing is a, is, oh, okay. is a school and, and uh, the, so they'll teach you. I'm an instructor there, for instance. Oh, wonderful. And so I... Um, Bart is a great, uh, he, he oversees that particular school, and, and I also teach in Kailua, Hawaii, and I also oh. teach independently in my front yard in uh, Laie, Hawaii, so I, I, I Great office in, space, all yeah. these beaches if around the world, if you're that gonna work, he yeah. works. If you're going to work, in it, we don't call it work anymore. So yeah, really. It's too much fun. <laughs> well, what else do you do besides kite surfing? I'm a musician, and, um, and, and we have a nightclub called Arcadia Blues Club. And, oh, wow. the, and so uh, every Friday and Saturday night we bring around the touring bands that are into, into the blues and jazz. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the cert, like bands that might be playing at the Coach House, for instance, then might play at Arcadia Blues Club on a Friday or Saturday night. And it's, and, uh, it's a lot of fun. So. Wow. Okay, well, thank you so much. And I hope that you'll be one of my instructors one day out there in the ocean. I'd be happy to volunteer to help Okay, you, you, you heard him say that. We're going to go kiting one day very soon. Very good. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>